Hello everyone, you're watching Physio Classroom channel and in this video we are going to learn practically how to perform the joint play assessment for the tibiofemoral joint in the anterior to posterior and posterior to anterior direction. Followed by the practical demonstration of joint play, we will also be covering the manipulation techniques to restore it. So let's get started. To perform the anterior to posterior joint play evaluation, make the patient lie down in supine lying position on a low couch and then the patient's tested limb is flexed so that hip and knee are in 90 degree position. The therapist next places the right foot on the treatment couch so that the therapist's knee is supporting the patient's calf region. Now the therapist is going to place the heel of both hands over both the sides of the tibial tuberosity and then a force is going to be applied from the anterior to posterior direction. After all the slack has been taken up, further force is going to be applied to evaluate the anterior to posterior joint play. To assess for the posterior to anterior joint play in the knee joint, the therapist is going to flex the patient's knee to about 90 degrees and the testing is going to be similar as we do it for the drawer sign. So therapist is going to stabilize the foot by sitting over it and then both the hands of the therapist are going to be placed behind the knee joint. And the fingers are going to be either clasped or can be placed together. The therapist is now going to apply force from the posterior to anterior direction taking up all the tissue slack and then further force is added to assess for the posterior to anterior joint play. The other way of assessing the posterior to anterior joint play is to again flex the hip and knee of the patient to 90 degrees and this time the therapist is going to place the left foot on the treatment couch. The knee is going to be in the popliteal fossa of the patient. The right hand is going to stabilize the distal leg and then the therapist is going to plantar flex at the foot to assess for the anterior to posterior joint play. The left hand here can also palpate the joint line to actually assess for the movement that is taking place. A reduced joint play in the anterior to posterior direction can often result in reduction in the knee joint flexion ranges. Now to correct it, what the therapist can do is, the therapist is going to first increase the height of the couch and then is going to flex the hip and knee of the patient. And now the therapist is going to take a wide step standing position and is going to stabilize the distal calf region by putting it on the shoulder. And now both the hands are going to be wrapped around the tibial tuberosities and fingers are going to be clasped so that the hands are placed just distal to the knee joint. And now a force is going to be applied from the anterior to posterior direction taking up all the slack and creating a preload tension. Now without releasing any tension, a therapist is going to apply a swift impulse from the anterior to posterior direction. Now similarly reduced joint play from posterior to anterior direction in the knee joint can result in reduction in the knee extension ranges. Now the easiest way to restore it is the therapist can ask the patient to assume the long sitting position and now from here the therapist is going to flex the knee so that the foot can rest on the treatment couch. The therapist is next going to sit over the patient's foot in order to stabilize it. Now both hands of the therapist are going to be wrapped around the tibia so that the fingers are wrapping the posterior aspect of the tibia close to the knee joint. Now the therapist is next going to apply force from the posterior to anterior direction taking up all the slack. After all the slack has been taken up and the joint preload tension is present, without losing any tension, a swift impulse is going to be delivered from posterior to anterior direction. So this was all about the practical demonstration of the assessment and treatment for the anterior to posterior joint play in the knee joint. See you all in our next video. Till then, keep, keep learning, learning, keep sharing and stay connected.